The third was the identification of awareness, needs, methods, and approaches uh, to improve uh, the Indian energy shame. For uh, the development of instruments for promotion and sustainable consumption, uh, such uh, new material, uh, comparative testing, awareness campaign, life cycle assessment, green uh, public procurement, and um, so on. Fifth, uh, the involving uh, the businesses and corporate uh, social responsibility for promoting uh, of um, energy efficiency and sustainability consumption. Sixth, identification of a stakeholder strategy for energy efficiency and sustainable consumption. That are the overall aims of our, our study. Um, and then we uh, figured out um, six uh, hypotheses um, <clears throat> because it for uh, a investigation study for a survey is important to have some hypothesis uh, before uh, you start uh, this empirical uh, survey. First was uh, that we uh, mentioned that uh, higher educated people uh, of the new middle class and urban areas have a clearer awareness and higher needs on energy uh, efficient lifestyle than lower educated uh, people. It's related to education, this hypothesis. The second was the higher the income of the people, the lower the awareness of um, uh, the uh, <coughs> energy uh, issues. Because we mentioned that when the people have more, more money, then they think that it's not so important to save uh, energy and, and, and so on. That was the second hypothesis. The third was that females uh, are better informed uh, on energy saving and efficiency than males. We want to look, ne, is there a difference between males and females in the mindset of uh, energy is using? Uh, fourth uh, hypothesis was uh, have younger uh, dwellers um, a, a better inform or better informed in energy saving than older people. Is this question dependent to the age of the people? Fifth, um, uh, people with a high individual energy consumption are willing to spend more money for energy saving activities. Now, that was in. Uh, uh, um, <coughs> A logical uh, aspect uh, that uh, people they uh, use uh, uh, a lot of uh, energy that they are very interested on energy saving equipment and so on. The uh, sixth was a good residential place uh, has a higher priority than the distance uh, to the work uh, place. Uh, that was related to the aspect what uh, Professor Sitaram has uh, shown uh, of the uh, situation of transportation, uh, uh, mass transportation and individual transportation here in India. Uh, <clears throat> and is there uh, any uh, relation? That was the sixth hypothesis. So, yeah, we are uh, made uh, the investigation uh, <clears throat> during the urban mela in the uh, fifth uh, city. We start in, in Mumbai, go to Bangalore, Chennai, uh, then Delhi, and, uh, and Pune. Uh, we uh, <clears throat> interviewed uh, about 2,000 respondents in these five uh, cities, uh, and uh, the <clears throat> respondents come, are uh, all over um, from uh, the, the visitors of the urban mela in the BMBF pavilion. It was one, this pavilion that was covered uh, by the Ministry for uh, <coughs> Education and Research in, in Germany. Now it is a little bit uh, redissembled and redesigned uh, here for the D, uh, I, uh, DWIH uh, activity. And uh, there we have our, our stand and we uh, discuss um, with the people uh, different aspects of uh, energy efficient um, uh, buildings and uh, then we make this uh, investigation um, uh, as well. So, uh, <coughs> how old uh, <coughs> are our respondents? You can, you can see that 62% uh, of the respondents are uh, under three, uh, 30 years uh, old. Um, we have uh, <coughs> 78% percent, that is more than two thirds of the respondents are males. Only one third, a little group, are, are females. Uh, most of uh, the respondents uh, have um, 
academic degree as a bachelor, master, or PhD, and the other group, one third, 26.5 percent, are students. Yeah. Why it is important when we look to China? Then we can see that the segment of higher educated people will increase a little bit, but when you see the uh, overall tendency, then the population uh, will uh, <coughs> go down uh, more, more and more. Uh, and uh, in uh, opposite to uh, China, you can see uh, India will uh, growing up more and more in uh, this segment of uh, higher educated uh, people at, uh, as well when they have uh, the higher uh, and tertiary uh, education. And that is very, very important. And from our perspective, uh, we are meaning that this group of the population are very important uh, for the uh, sustainable development here uh, in India because they are the they are trainer for the people and to educate the people. It means that you are academic, you have teachers, you have trainers, and, and, and they have to uh, train the people and to inform the people uh, of uh, this uh, kind of sustainability, because sustainability uh, <coughs> all over the world is the most important uh, uh, aspect uh, to uh, solve um, the Earth. Um, <coughs> yeah. Um, 38% of, of our respondents have an engineering uh, background. That is another very interesting uh, aspect. Um, then uh, more or less half of the respondents are come from industry or uh, companies. 39% <coughs> uh, uh, live in households with uh, uh, four persons. And that is typical that most of uh, our respondents are uh, coming from the middle class, and the typical middle class has four persons, no? <coughs> uh, husband and wife and two child. That is the average for a middle class uh, <coughs> family. Uh, and uh, in lower class um, uh, families, they have more, much more uh, children than the middle class or uh, the upper class in the average. Um, so, um, <coughs> The size of um, the uh, houses of, of flats, uh, what the respondents are have, uh, <coughs> are more or less uh, half of them uh, are have a flat larger than thousand square feet. Um, <coughs> the monthly income uh, is shared in uh, two, uh, three parts. No? The one uh, segment uh, uh, thirty. Uh, 8% uh, earns uh, less than 20,000 rupees. I think there is a group of students in uh, this segment. Um, then we have 27% uh, uh, from 20 to uh, 40,000 rupees, and 35% uh, uh, of the respondents have a monthly individual income more than uh, uh, 40,000 uh, rupees. That uh, are uh, the uh, <coughs> Uh, social situation and the income situation of uh, the uh, respondents. And um, <clears throat> then we ask, uh, uh, do the uh, respondents know their energy consumption uh, of their home? And that is very interesting that only uh, one third of the respondents know their energy uh, consumption. Two thirds of uh, the respondents don't know uh, what they uh, consume uh, every every month, and that is very very interesting. Uh, for the uh, <coughs> further uh, question, what we uh, have uh, stated out. Um, next um, is the travel time uh, of our respondents. Uh, Sixty-one percent of the respondents spend uh, more than uh, or a maximum of uh, one hour for travel work uh, college uh, per day. Uh, that is. Uh, yeah, more, more or less uh, average uh, that we have in uh, <clears throat> our uh, countries um, as uh, well. But uh, very interesting is that we uh, have 40% uh, of the people, they spend more than one hour per day will go to work or to college and, uh, and so on. And it could be that they are uh, driving three hours, four hours, 
dependent where they uh, are uh, living. Uh, but uh, that we have here uh, 31 percent uh, less than 30 minutes, it could be uh, that uh, there are a lot of students uh, here in this sample and the students are living on the campus and not far away uh, from the, uh, the college. That could be a reason, but we are not sure because we don't know where the people uh, <coughs> uh, are living. Um, yeah, then... <coughs> uh, <coughs> We um, have asked how much money they spend uh, for public trans transport, and you can see 72% uh, uh, has spent less than uh, 5,000 rupees per month uh, for uh, transportation. That uh, are the, the data of uh, our sample, what we have introduced um, in um, our uh, survey, and uh, <coughs> And, and then we um, have uh, shared our uh, question in three parts. Uh, the first part uh, plays was uh, the user priorities uh, of home standard, what the people are uh, <coughs> mentioned, what they need, what they want uh, uh, to, to have in their, in their houses. Uh, the second uh, part plays uh, was the user environmental knowledge. Uh, what are the knowledge of the people uh, of, uh, of energy consumption and environmental and sustainability and uh, so on. And the third part of general user attitudes, how the people uh, are, uh, <coughs> are doing uh, and what are the, the the people um, have for uh, attitudes or habits, or, uh, uh, because the uh, behavior we, we can't uh, check and we can evaluate it, but we don't know how they uh, <coughs> behave it in uh, the reality. <coughs> 